4.8 magnitude hits California's Long Valley Caldera, Mammoth Mountains, right there. This is the whole area, and I would venture to say it even shook the Bay Area. Over 500 people have reported it to USGS as having felt it. It's about uh, six miles depth, but this is where they, the USGS stops the frequency, unfortunately, but you can see that uh, it has uh, probably shaken a lot more than this. We've also, four hours later, had a 4.6 right there off the coast of uh, Petrolia right there on the Medicino Fracture Zone. And we have Mount Shasta and Mount Lassen Las Las Peak as well, having been shaken by that. And uh, they are, of course, high threat volcanoes. And these are volcanoes located on the Walker Lane Fault System. We know that this takes up 25% of the pressure of the subduction zone pressure of the Pacific Plate under the North American Plate. And the San Andreas Fault here takes up the other 75%. This is the garlic fault right there with Ridgecrest right there. So this is, you can understand what's going on. Look at this. This is a mess. And um, we have a lot of strong uh, uh, earthquakes there. We've had a, on December 20th a 6.2 right here. 6.2, which is not small. So it probably jostled all of these faults here, like puzzle pieces, making them... Um, somehow trying to resettle themselves. Uh, Long Valley Caldera, as we know, is inflating. The latest eruption. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Formation of Mammoth Mountain uh, about 111,000 to 57,000 years ago. Type of explosive uh, eruption is explosive. And uh, normal seismic activity, uh, this is a very old uh, thing. Okay, going back to this volcano discovery. Oh, 5.1 just reported in Mexico. Okay. Um, Volcano okay, Discovery. Okay. Long Valley Caldera. That's what I want. That's the news of it. Okay. Magnitude all over. Uh, this is, of course, the big island of Hawaii. All right. So uh, this is our shake map of the 4.6 off Petrolia right there, as you can see. And um, this is Mount Shasta right there. Topographic, and this is Lassen Volcano right there. Mount Shasta is a lot, it's about 4,000 feet higher. So, Mount Sh uh, Lassen Peak is right across from Mendocino Fracture Zone. And we have been told by geologists that, as you can see, the fault line uh, goes into a formation of a 7, or actually a Z, because we have had Blanco Fracture Zone earthquakes as well. But this thing here had 6.2, December 20th and ongoing earthquakes uh, continuously. Uh, I would say quake swarms. Even in um, the area of uh, Deep Springs right here, we've had quake swarms right there. This is it right here, quake swarms. And quake swarms here in Mendocino as well today. The blue is today's quakes. The red is the past hour. So this is it right here, quake swarms right there. And this is the area of the Long Valley Caldera, this whole thing right here. That's Mono Lake right there. Mina, Nevada, is, it's been going on for months, this activity there. So all of you there, please be very careful. Let's put in the, uh, well, we'll put it together. The 4.6 uh, earthquake in Petrolia, this is it. Aerial is right here, as you can see. Again, USGS stops that right there. And this, as we said before, is Mount Shasta, that white thing right there. This is Mount Shasta, right there. Uh, Shasta National, okay, Shasta right there. 
and that's Lassen Peak right there. They're not really that, that far from each other. As we said, they're about 4,000, Mount Shasta is about 4,000 feet higher. So, um, as we said, the this area, Petrolia had this earthquake four hours later than the Long Valley Caldera earthquake on the Mendocino Fracture Zone. So, uh, I, I don't know if that also, this could have shaken, this area here could have shaken that. Okay, this area, if you uh, extend the, the lines a little bit, of course it could have shaken that right there, and vice versa. And this again shakes that. So uh, again, may, maybe it was felt in uh, the Bay Area as well. Okay, so all of you there, please be very careful. If you felt these, please let us know in your comments. And uh, obviously, the West Coast is really shaking a lot. Uh, please be alert. And a lot of people do have the shake alert. I'm sure that you got the notifications for the shake alert. Let's see if you did or not. Uh, it would tell us right here, right there. Okay, about 500 people felt that. And uh, did, did they get the shake alert? Yes, shake alert, yes. Okay, they got that shake alert for that one. And what about the other one? The one in uh, Petrolia. Did they get the shake alert for that? Supposedly everything over four magnitude, you get a shake alert. So you could have a few seconds to take cover. Shake alert, yes, that was given as well. Okay, so everybody please be very careful and uh, alert. 213 people felt that. There's not that many people living there anyway on the coast. Now concerning Long Valley Caldera, these are old earthquakes. They didn't put two days on. They, they don't usually update this very much. The um, current status, normal to dormant. It's not dormant, of course. Well, dormant meaning it's not erupting. Now, the uh, it's a large caldera, 17 by 32 kilometers, east of C central Sierra Nevada Range, California, a result of a giant explosive eruption that happened 760,000 years ago. It was the super eruption that formed the widespread voluminous Bishop Tuff. The caldera showing unrest in recent years, it's inflating in the form of deformation and earthquake swarms. It contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles. Basically, it looks like Yellowstone, but Yellowstone is huge. It's got 60% of the world's geysers and over 10,000 uh, hydrothermal areas. Now, typical type of the eruption is explosive. As we said, it last erupted 111,000 to 57,000 years ago, forming Mammoth Mountain. And the background, Bishop Tuff eruption, formation of Long Valley that uh, took place at the super eruption of 760,000 years ago. And activity continued in the central part of the caldera to form a lava dome. Smaller eruptions of rhyodacite pumice occurred as well from outer ring fracture events. The last activity was only about 50,000 years ago. In its early history, the caldera contained a large lake where the new lava dome formed an island and beach deposit can be seen in the caldera walls today. Later, the lake drained through the Owens River Gorge. This is according to Volcano Discovery. So all of you there, please be careful. This is the, the image of uh, the West Coast today. That's it. And these are the two big earthquakes. This one four hours after this one here. Okay. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.